ஹலோ ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் பேக் டு ஸ்ட்ராய்விங் ஆஸ்பிரன்ஸ் லெட்ஸ் டாக் அபவுட் ஒன் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் டாபிக் இன் அக்கௌண்டிங் தட் இஸ் ட்ரேடிங் அண்ட் ப்ராஃபிட் அண்ட் லாஸ் அக்கௌண்ட் எவ்ரி பிஸ்னஸ் ஆர் எவ்ரி ஆர்கனைசேஷன் கம்பெனிஸ் ஆர் ஸ்டார்டிங் வித் த இன்டென்ஷன் ஆஃப் ஏர்னிங் ப்ராஃபிட் In order to calculate this profit or loss of a company, we require a platform. And the platform is named as Financial Statements. Here in this video presentation, we will check one of the financial statements that is Trading and Profit and Loss account. The main intention of preparing this Trading and Profit and Loss profit and loss account is to find out the profit earned by a business or the loss incurred by a business enterprise during a particular accounting period in other words this trading and profit and loss account shows a summary of revenues and expense of the business and it calculates the net figure termed as profit or loss as we know when the business is having more income or more revenue than the expenses we are in a state of profit and if expense is more than the revenue or income then we will say the business is in loss after the preparation of trial balance we will take all the balances of revenues and expense from the trial balance and we will post into the trading and profit and loss account trading and profit and loss account is having debit and credit sides in the debit side we post all expense and losses and in the credit side we post all the revenues gains or incomes received by the company now let us check what are the major or main items coming in the debit side of trading and profit and loss account opening stock this is the stock or goods the business is having in the beginning of an accounting year in other words whatever the business is having in the previous year means the closing stock of goods in the previous year will be the opening stock of current year opening stock is a part of cost of goods sold of the current accounting year so it appears on the debit side of trading account next one purchases less purchase returns purchase as we know it is the goods or items or products whatever it is it is taken by a company for resale and which will appear on the debit side of the trading account purchase include cash and credit purchases and purchase returns which are return to the suppliers means the goods which are return to the suppliers is purchase return this is shown like the amount of purchase return will be deducted from the purchases amount and the final amount is called as net purchases next one wages it is the remuneration paid to workers who are directly engaged in factory or loading unloading and production of goods means whatever amount which are paid to the workers who are working in the production section of a company are called as wages and it is shown in the debit side of trading account next one carriage inwards or freight inwards these are the expense of transport to bring the materials or goods purchased by a business next one fuel water power and gas these items are essential in a production process of a company and this is the direct expense 
and it will be shown in the debit side of trading account. Next point, packaging material and packing charges. There are two points in this one. When we talk about packaging, when it is a small container, it will be taken as direct expense. Means whatever cost of packing material, it will go to direct expense. And when it is like packing to the big containers that are used for transporting the goods, then it is regarded as indirect expense. So it will be debited to profit and loss account. Next one is salaries. Salaries are indirect expense and it will be debited to the profit and loss account. Salaries paid to the administration, go down and warehouse staff for the service rendered by them for running the business. Facilities provided to the employees such as rent free accommodation, meals, uniform, medical facilities will also come in the indirect expense and it is debited to profit and loss account. Next one is rent paid. This one include office and go down rent, municipal rates and taxes, factory rent, rates and taxes. The amount of rent paid is shown on the debit side of profit and loss account. Interest paid. Interest paid on loans, bank overdraft, renewal of bills of exchange, etc. It's an expense and debited to profit and loss account. Commission paid. When the company take agents to sell their products then some commission amount is paid or payable to their parties. This expense is debited to profit and loss account. Next point repairs. Repairs and small renewals, replacements relating to plant and machinery, furniture, fixtures, fittings etc for keeping them in good working condition which are included as expenditure and is debited to profit and loss account next one is miscellaneous expense there are certain small expense that will incur in a business which is taken together and put under miscellaneous expense Normally this expense are called as sundry expense or trade expense. Some examples include bank overdraft cost, union dues, travel expense, business consultation expense etc. Now let us check the trading and profit and loss account major items in the credit side. The major item in the credit side include sales less returns sales account constitute total sales whatever cash sales and credit sales made during that particular year is taken in the credit side of trading account if there is any goods returned by customers that is detected from the total sales amount this is called as return inwards or sales returns. After reduction, we will take the net sales in the outer column. Next point is other incomes. Other incomes include rent received, dividend received, interest, discount, commission received, etc. These items are also shown in the credit side of profit and loss account. Now let us check the format of trading and profit and loss account. Here we can see two sections. First section is trading account and the second section is profit and loss account. Let us check the left side or debit side of trading account which include opening stock, purchase, less purchase returns, if any, wages, 
carriage inwards, freight inwards, cartage, etc. Now come to the right side or credit side of trading account where we can see sales less sales returns if any. After that we balance the total and if there is gross profit then we will show gross profit carried down in the debit side of trading account and the same amount is brought down in the credit side of profit and loss account. Please note that only one item appears in the trial balance which is shown in the yellow here means if there is gross profit only we have to take into consideration gross profit and if there is gross loss we have to show only the gross loss amount here. Now let us check the debit side of profit and loss account where we can see rent rates and taxes salaries, repairs and renewals, bad debts, etc. Similarly, the credit side of profit and loss account on the right side we can see the gross profit, the amount we have brought down, then interest received, commission, discount, dividend, whatever income we have received we have to show here. After that, we will balance the totals then in the debit side of profit and loss account we will show net profit transferred to capital account so this is all about the trading and profit and loss account i hope you have got a simple idea regarding this trading and profit and loss account you will see in another video till then it's bye from striving aspirants take care